Huh. Well, it's Thanksgiving, but my wife isn't here. Meh. Oh well. More for me. Uh, hey, sire. Whoa! Professor Pig, what are you doing here? Actually, I don't really know, but I do know a lot about macromolecules. What? Yeah, macromolecules. The tiny molecules, hence the name, that make up every organic thing on this planet, aka any compound that contains carbon. I did not understand a word you just said. That's okay. Let me break it down. Macromolecules. Mac, no, no, no. We will not have any rapping in this video. Aw, why not? Because, for one, it's stupid. Two, it reminds me of the birds. And three, you can't rap. Uh, you don't know that. Yes, I do. Because I know you can't rap because the very person who's filming this episode can't rap. Hey, take that back. I can rap. I can rap, you stupid fat piece of- Okay, fine, whatever, let's just please do this video normally. There are four types of macromolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Each one has its own set of functions and structure of their monomers and polymers. What are monomers and polymers? A mono means one, and poly means many. So the monomers of macromolecules are like links in a chain. Each link is one monomer. As the chain gets bigger, it's called a polymer. So, if we were monomers of a macromolecule, and we were all linked together like this, we all would in one be considered a polymer? Precisely. Wait, what, what What are you guys doing? We're about to do a prayer circle. A prayer circle? No, 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 stop all of this right now. This video isn't supposed to feature any religion. But Christmas. It's Thanksgiving. Now get back to work. Aww. I feel like a Macy's employee on Black Friday. Anyways, you were saying? The first macromolecule we will look at is carbohydrates. Are carbohydrates? I'm a scientist, not an English teacher! Carbohydrates make up sugars like glucose, fructose, and sucrose. These sugars give us quick energy, especially in their monomer form, also known as a monosaccharide. A carbohydrate polymer is called a polysaccharide. Carbohydrates are found in many foods we eat, like bread and starch. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, what were you saying? The only thing I got out of that was food. <sighs> of course. Next, let's look at lipids. Lipids store the energy we get from food. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's cool. Uh, what were you saying again? <sighs> It's also the molecule in our body that allows us to absorb shock <laughs> and activates hormones. Uh, uh, hey honey, I'll whore your moan. What the? Hey! The structure of a lipid is very unique because its monomer is the body of the lipid and the polymer is its three fatty acid tails. This is obviously where we get things like oils, waxes, and fats from. So what you're saying is that the king has a lot of lipids? Hey, I'm not fat. I'm just big boned. Proteins are one of the most important macromolecules next to nucleic acid for the simple fact that it does so much. That's probably because it's most prominent in the food we eat. Mmm, all this talk of food is making me hungry. Can I eat my Thanksgiving meal now? No! Aww. Functions include storing energy, like lipids, transporting energy around the body. Like how this car is going to transport me into a wall, right? Hey, what are you doing? Giddy up! <laughs> Keeping our body temperature and overall feeling healthy and regular, helping us move, creating structures of larger molecules, and creating enzymes. Wait, sorry, were you saying something? I was distracted by this guy who ran into a wall and is on fire right now. It's very amusing. Uh, protein monomers are called amino acids, and there are four types of protein polymers. Four? That's more than the amount of fingers I have. You don't have any fingers. A pig can dream, okay? The four types of protein polymers are tetatory, primary, secondary, and quaternary. As stated before, protein is found in many of our foods, such as any type of meat, like bacon, <laughs> get away from me, muscles, things you don't have, hey, and eggs. <gasps> Did someone say eggs? 
<laughs> Not so fast. Aw, oh, come on. We still need to learn about nucleic acids. Uh, who cares? I need to get that golden egg and have my delicious Thanksgiving meal with my wife. And you can, after you listen to me for just a while longer. Ah, oh, fine. Nucleic acids are very important because their job is to create, store, and share genetic information about you. Basically, it creates the unique features that make you, you. Its monomer is called a nucleotide, and it's made up of a sugar and a nitrogen base and a phosphate. When those nucleotides join together, they form both deoxyribic nucleic acid and ribonucleic acid. What? <sighs> DNA and RNA. Oh, I get it. So those are like acronyms, right? So like DNA stands for Daddy Not Ass and RNA stands for Ryan Not Ass, right? No, I just... <sighs> So RNA acts as the messenger part of nucleic acid, and DNA is what pulls it all together. It's the instruction booklet for the body to read and create unique features based on it. Wait, so you're saying I have an instruction booklet inside me? Technically, yes. Ooh, I wonder what Lego said it's for. <laughs> <laughs> What the never are you doing? Professor Pig said I had an instruction booklet inside of me, so I'm trying to get it out. You did not eat an instruction booklet. What? I didn't? No, you idiot. Hey, why are you being so mean to me? Well, uh, 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 um, well, uh, uh, that, that's just because, um... Uh, I'm not Professor Pig at all! Wait, Nathan, how did you get here? Yeah! Oh.